In this video, we are going to create a wavelength photo effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a wavelength photo effect. It will be fun, nice and simple and very quick. So without wasting any kind of time, uh, first of all uh, let me just answer some of your questions about uh, language. Actually uh, I thought I, I have a concept that uh, I should make some of the tutorials in Hindi so maybe for my local friends would be easy to understand that language so I thought that uh, from now I will make one tutorial for Hindi and one tutorial for English so it could be easier for all and uh, maybe I would like to stick with Hindi because it's much better and easier and uh, there is no harmful things in that so there is no language problem in that so uh you will see that I will make a video in uh, Hindi or Urdu and one uh, uh, as well US people's ke liye karunga, okay? Bahar ke jo log hai, wo mostly unke liye thoda sa difficult hota hai, hamari languages ko understand karna, so English में lecture records करने का मतलब सिर्फ यही है कि सब के लिए same हो जाए और mostly मेरी जो public है या मैं कह सकता हूँ मेरे जो viewers हैं जो मुझे देखने वाले हैं वो ज़्यादातर बाहर से हैं means local बहुत ही कम लोग हैं और that's why मुझे record करना पड़ता है English में that's why और मेरे लिए वरना easy ही है उर्दू में तो record करना कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है well uh, let's just finish it here and uh, if you are facing problem using these actions, you can freely contact on me on Facebook. The page link is given in the description bar. I surely reply. I am a little bit late, but I'll reply soon. And uh, yes, there are lots of comments. That's why I really it say it, it takes some time to reply all of these comments, uh, as you understand that. So let's start our work. Uh, let's get back to our tutorial. This is a simple image. As I said, we will create a wavelength. So we need a extra room, rather. Uh, we are in left or right top or down mode it's uh, not a big deal so this is a simple image creating selection around our character when we run our actions this is the result isn't it amazing looks cool this wave is amazing and not only this you can apply custom colors on it like uh, from here there are lots of color options here you can apply like i would like to stick with this color it looks nice fabulous and perfect so you can use composition of different colors or you can use a single color it's your choice and i hope you like this effect also so let's just save this one oh, oh basically uh, we can edit everything inside that we can even edit lines of these lines you can rotate these lines you can uh, fold these lines it's your choice so let's move to the next example this is a simple image and uh, yes creating selection around our character that's the basic thing we do in all uh, videos and after that you can see the final result and after that apply some color options so it looks like this looks amazing and I like this effect because it's a uh, amazing wavelength looks cool so we'll leave it here uh, without saving this uh, I would like to remove and now this example it is looks nice and pretty high definition uh, creating selection oh, sorry uh, creating selection on our character the final result is here applying some color corrections and you can do much better results like turning this off turning this on you can uh, change anything else here it's your choice it's your it's all depend on your choice so that's it and let's just move to the next example uh, this one uh, creating selection running our actions and the results are here and some output 
or we can say that some color options apply on that and it looks like this play with the settings there are lots of settings here we will discuss them after finishing our basic work so let's just close everything from here and the final uh, we can say that uh, example is here creating selection running our actions the results are here and uh, i hope you like this effect every time you run these actions it will create a random effect so run these actions if you see the uh, result is not good you can delete that effect and recreate that again rerun these actions and you can just get your desired result so uh, let's uh, uh, delete these two groups because we will start from very basic that's it and suppose we don't have oops sorry suppose we don't have a locked layer and this is a simple image basically it was like its, it's size was uh, like uh, at this size it the original size was here i just uh, increased the room to get more detail and now what we will do is we have we don't have a background layer so we'll go to layer new and background from layer so we have a background layer we will create a new layer create a selection around our character when you are satisfied with the selection just fill it with this color any color you can use it's a green you can use red or red or any color you would like to use and name this layer as brush the name should be in lowercase all the way to the lowercase don't use caps locks while you are naming this uh, layer just use smaller case name b r u s h brush okay as such as you can see here just uh, as same so uh, that's it this is uh, the basic thing now it's time to uh, load our actions if you don't see this icon in the right hand side of your panel just go to windows click on actions and let me just close everything from here now just click on uh, the stop and click on load actions from the load actions when you will download that file it will it will be in zip file just extract that anywhere where you could find that file and open the folder there is one file which is name which name is a uh, wavelength action file just click on select and click on load after that i have two so i would like to delete one now uh, this one open this there are four different directions left right up and down I, I have showed you all of the examples except up uh, I have just show you right left and uh, uh, down so for this image as you can see we will use a left one so click left and open that okay so now before we run our actions just click on this side panel icon click on panel options from the panel options make sure that you are clicking add copy to copy it layers and groups now click on ok now we are ready to go just click on play button it will take a little time to complete the process so we will click on play button and we will wait for the process to complete its work okay 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 so the process is complete let's just close this side panel and you will see the final output but it don't look it, it it didn't seems like amazing because these some lines are over crossing the character you can leave it as it is it's a choice and if you want that it looks like it is coming from inside or from this side what we'll do is before we do anything else let's just press ctrl alt and click on this uh, dropping arrow it will close everything at once and when you will open this it will open in very neat mode so before we edit anything else let's just limit these waves uh, from this character so what we'll do is or how we can make a limit on that simple process just press ctrl and click on your brush layer thumbnail it will create a selection around our character and now go to uh, select and inverse just to be neat and clean now press D press X as your foreground color will be black press brush tool and select a soft round brush and simply just erase the lines which are overlapping your character like this looks nice and a little bit from this side and uh, take it down and that's it we are fine with this I think so anything else you would like to remove will be removed now you can see that the outer area is removed now we want to remove a little bit from hands from a little bit foot so it could look nice so we'll go to select and click on inverse again and you will see that now it is uh, uh, selecting only the inside area 
and when you will click on this it will remove it like this but we don't want to do this we'll simply just go to opacity and make it 75 percent and flow should also be less than 75 and now we will remove these small lines to make it looks much better and i think i am fine with this setting great same thing on this side just play with it don't worry about that it will not bite you <laughs> simple as that just play with this and when you will satisfy with the setting just press ctrl d there we have the final result so let's just hide this up to see what is the final output so you can see that it's not so much great at this time because there are some white lines here let's just try to remove these lines so we'll select our layer go to layer go to matte go to define maybe to two percent and click on okay that's nice now it looks nice we have removed the lines from this and the white area is removed now that looks amazing so this is the basic thing and now we want to make some more changes uh, like these lines are unmasked you can mask them or uh, you can see that it is now mask and when you unmask it will look like white so it's a choice you would like to make or not so these are some uh, rotated lines sorry about that and uh, these are some other settings inside that like this and um, what are the basic uh, okay so it's on the top actually I am searching in uh, some uh, yes that's it and open this main area fill open this up you can turn off and it will look like this or you can turn on turn this off and it will look like only lines so look like this look like this it's a choice you can visible all the lines or not turn on this there are extra lines here you can use these lines or not it's your choice so i would like to recommend don't use these when you have less lines then you can use these lines it's a nice approach and you will do that thing and i think we are fine with this and uh, uh yes i think we are satisfied with that uh open up main adjustments there are some color options here you can use like uh, you can apply some color overlays like this and i think i am fine with this okay so you can use this one or these is your choice and uh, let's just close and we will create our own color overlay so just go to adjustments we'll go to selective colors select green because we need to target the green color so there is the target and uh, you can make it dark light it's your choice now we'll move to the cyan looks great now we'll go move uh, blue that's nice cool okay and uh, let's just uh, use some yellows maybe if we could target nice and now we'll use some neutrals and some black okay so i am i think i am fine with this result you can use this or not it's a choice uh it all depends on you 
and uh, you can make it more amazing by adding some more details like press ctrl shift e to make merge and uh, you can go to filter uh, noise add noise to look like a little dusty maybe two is much better or one is much better okay it looks nice here also you can make it soft or make it uh, dusty it's your choice and you can do a lot more things so my work is done all the link, uh, link uh, all the files are which I, I have used are uh, given in the description bar you can follow the link and download that file and if you found anything new you want uh, to see on this channel just comment under any video or if you have problem you, just, you can just freely ask and uh, we will meet in our next video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, it's a great bound between us and uh, we will make it more longer and more stronger so we will meet in our next video uh, never stop never depend and keep learning